preceding segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us for Two News at Noon. I am joined with uh, Nurse Al, who is uh, talking about mood medications and mothers, expectant mothers. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me out. So yeah, having kids can be a lot of fun, but it can be stressful for some people. And some moms have anxiety or depression or other mood conditions, and they may be worried about some of those medications and how they might affect baby in pregnancy or breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. It's a very, go ahead. I was gonna say for, for this kind of information, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, women would have to take some kind of mood medication, um, even while pregnant? Absolutely. So it's very common for mom to give us a call and sometimes she's stopped that medication because she's so worried about it. Sometimes we hear from her doctor that she's ended up in the hospital because of being off of that medication. But remember that the untreated mood conditions are generally worse for the pregnancy and worse for baby than those medications used to treat them. How often should women who are with these medications check in with their doctor? About how they should check, yeah, they should check in with their doctor before they make any changes to them. So their doctors know what dose they're on and what medications they're on. And going off of those medications without talking to your doctor can have some side effects. Mom may have irritability, difficulty sleeping, mm -hmm. and you know nausea and vomiting. So stopping those medications can cause symptoms for mom also. And for nursing mothers, uh, maybe some concerns would be. I'm nursing and whatever I'm taking, the baby may end up getting. Are there concerns there? Yes, for breastfeeding, let's take a look at, for example, the SSRIs, very commonly used for anxiety and depression. Those SSRIs get into the milk in very small amounts, usually less than 6%, and we don't see side effects for the baby with those medications. Now, there are some mood medications that get into the milk in larger amounts, and we wanna to talk to mom about what strategies to look for for those. And for pregnancy, we generally don't see any increased risk of birth defects, and that's usually what they're concerned about for pregnancy. So generally, like I says, generally better to be on the medication than to be off of that medication in pregnancy and breastfeeding. All right, Nurse Al, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.